Guys, give me, give me room. Serious, go ahead. Houston! Ugh. Houston. Hold on. I don't know why, man. Tree Farmer Charlie, how are you? There, that should have done it. Lisa Mac, good morning. Lisa Mac, do me a favor, redeem, say hi. That I know worked. There we go. Hello, Ozzy. You guys hear all that? Minos! You can't hear it? Son of a bitch, dude. Hold on. There we go. That should work now. You guys hear that? How about that? Nothing? How the fuck is that possible, man? I can hear it. That's the thing. Like, I, I heard it just fine. I don't understand how you guys can't hear that because it's showing up on everything. That makes absolutely no sense. It shows up on my Wavelink and in my OBS, but you guys can't hear it. Whatever. Come on, inside. Good boy. Well, that sucks.
I'm just making some coffee. How's everybody morning been so far? Their day. How was the rest of their day yesterday? We're sweating to the oldies today for baked and caked. I also have to put on this new, new Twitch thing that's going on. I don't know how many of you have seen this, but Twitch is now requiring, instead of just labeling your shit mature content, if you use or have any kind of cannabis use, you have to put it in there. Oh, playing, yep, yep. Whisking, how are you? Yep. Yep, you gotta click through a warning. It's the new norm. I'd like to say, you know where I don't need to deal with that is kick, but also like kick is still in the beta phase and I'm just like, look. Kick is too early on in its phase to be like praising it. You know what I mean? It's doing a lot of stuff, but at the same time, it's it's so early and it's in its it's in its like I won't even say if it's in its infancy because it's still in beta. So at that mode, it's still it's still just being put together. So it's like They're going to they're gonna do a lot of stuff right now to bring people over, but long run, who's to say they're not going to pull the same shit, you know? Granted, Twitch has been around for a long time, but they're kind of like that fucking, that group now that's been taken over by this guy that's just putting in all these stupid rules. I don't know, guys. It's a weird time to be a creator on Twitch. Trevor, what are you doing? Yeah, Tree Farmer, what it has to do, what it has to do with is advertising. It's all about ads. Because even if you are 16 streaming on Twitch, Guess what you have to do if you're playing Call of Duty? You have to mark your stream that you're playing violent games and such. So it's not just, it's not just about drug use. It's about profanity. It's about um, sexual themes and things like that. So we're testing it out today to see what it's all about and how it affects the stream. I don't really think it's going to affect too much considering our, my, you know, our community knows that I smoke weed and do all that, so it's kind of like whatever, right? <laughs> Why do you build me up? Hey, vital skills. Whoa, vital skills. How are you? Oh, you know what we need to do really quick, vital skills? I've been doing great, Vital. Thank you for, thank you for coming by. Did you guys hear the alert? Tree farmer, we all know that. We all know that. That's not the point. The point is this: advertisers. That's all it is. Really? How is it that I can hear all of these alerts and you guys can't hear shit? That's really annoying. Hold on. Let me, let me change this real quick. And then I'm just going to do something that normally makes it so it has double audio. Let 
but maybe now that's what I need to do. So dumb. Did you hear that? If you guys didn't hear it at that point, I honestly think they've completely ruined OBS. <laughs> Thank fucking God. So that's all it was. We got it. We got it. And you know what you get vital skills? You know what you get vital skills? You get the first, why is this all tilted? You get the first fucking squats of the day, the cake cam. Ready? You get the first, you get the first squats of the day, son. And to that, Cheers. Hopefully they don't come in here and they're like, you need to fucking turn this into sexual theme with all that cake and... <coughs> Rusty! How you doing, man? Good to see ya. Oh, hold on. Let me make sure that that post went through. It didn't. <coughs> oh my goodness. There we go. There we go. Going live, went live. Okay, good. Okay, good. All the, all the internet things happen. Cheers. Whew. Ozzy, thank you for the 10 bits. So just so you guys know, exclamation point cake. Is it cake or caked? I can't remember now. It's either exclamation point cake or exclamation point caked. And that's going to give you uh, the rundown. The rundown of how this all operates. There it is. One sub equals two squats. 100 bits equals one lunge. And one dollar equals... Uh, equals one jumping jack. I don't know why it's doubled, but there it is. What does it say in my, in my uh, announcement, or not my announcement, my other thing, I don't know. My title. Does it say caked or does it say cake? I'll change that real quick. This caked. Okay. Yeah, so if I were to go really quick, guys, Twitch announced this new thing. They did it yesterday. They always do this shit on the sly. Like they announce it and then they have like an open forum, but they announce the forum like 12 minutes before they do it. So it's not like they go, hey, we're going to introduce this new thing tomorrow. We're going to have an open forum about it at 10 a.m like give 24 hours notice. They do it so like nobody can show up and then they never answer any questions when they, people do show up that have like real questions to ask, like Zach Bussey could have gone in there, you know? So it's like content classification is what it says. So you go down and it says drugs, intoxication or excessive tobacco use. So excessive tobacco glorification or promotion, any marijuana consumption, or use, L legal drug and alcohol in induced intoxication. So if like you're drunk or anything like that, if you're getting drunk, you have to mark it that you're doing that and discussions of illegal drugs. So the fact that, the fact that um, you can't even talk about drugs or any sort of thing, you can't have any discussion about drugs 
without marking it. That's like their whole thing. Or they won't verify your number and you can't type. Date night, what? What happened? Did you get a new number or something? Gambling, obviously. Here's the funny thing. Everybody thinks that gambling has been banned on Twitch and you couldn't be fucking more wrong. If you think that gambling is an issue, isn't an issue on Twitch anymore because they got rid of slots and slate, you're fucking wrong. You didn't get anything what people were talking about because it is still on Twitch. So if you have a problem with gambling being something on kick, you have the same problem with Twitch because that shit still happens. Fucking all that shit. So anybody that has that gambling argument, know that it still happens on Twitch regardless, right? I've submitted several requests and they keep saying they can't help me. What? Date night, wait, are you, can you even stream then? Are you having issues getting on stream or just like, what the hell? Uh, significant profanity or vulgarity is another one you can check off if you do prolonged and repeated use of obscenities, profanities, vulgarities, especially as a regular part of speech. I'm talking in verified only chats. Oh, are there a lot of those? Are there a lot of verified only chats? I guess I don't come across too many of those. But they can't verify any numbers. Yeah, that's, that's very weird. That's very fucking weird. Uh, violent or graphic de de depictions. So that means uh, simulations or depictions of realistic violence, gore, extreme injury or death which probably means any video games that include that. Big one, Titch. How we doing today? High vibe, Mike. How are you? Yeah, dude. It's wild, right? Uh, sexual themes. Content that focuses on sexualized physical attributes and activities, sexual topics, or experiences. So, like, okay, let's say you're, you're doing a show and just talking about sex you have to have those sexual themes things checked off in your chat. Like, we're not talking about, we're not talking about hot tub and pools. By the way, guys, did you know that hot tubs and pools and all that kind of stuff, that kind of like just chatting thing that came out, the viewership on that has plummeted since T Kick came out. And I'm sure more so now that this is gonna be a thing. Uh, but even, even having like, there are some people out there um, exactly, this is live, these topics just came up. Exactly. These topics just come up, it doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter, they just come up naturally because it's a fucking live stream with a community. It's so dumb. So like, these topics, sexual to topics, if you're talking about something, if you're like an advice column kind of stream or, you know, there's, there's a lot of streams like that out there, or a call-in, Thing. You got to make sure that's on there. Uh, and then significant profanity, we talked about that. And then mature relate, rated games. So you could be a fucking 16 year old kid, 13 year old kid who streams on Twitch because that's the minimum age, isn't it? But you have to mark your, your stream as mature because you're playing Call of Duty. This is what you want. Let's go, Wicked! This is the path to true happiness and wisdom. Uh, yeah. I think I deserve Day night. You know why it won't impact discoverability? This is why it won't impact discoverability. Because there is no discoverability. Wicked! One year! One year and 420 in Dakar. Look at that. Look at that. 420 in Dakar and it's the four year... And we got to do squats, guys. It is baked and cake today. Smoke it is weed baked and cake day. today. Smoke weed every day. <coughs> <coughs> so, yeah, obviously, I'm marking the drugs category and the, uh, you know, whatever. Smoke it is. weed every day vulgarity but I feel like it's so dumb to say it won't affect discoverability because 
Twitch doesn't have discoverability. You can't say it won't affect something when it doesn't even have it to begin with. If you get reported multiple times after try, the crazy thing is that you get locked in label. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. If people are like, this person's doing drugs, and they're like, well, we're just gonna lock that in so you can never take it <coughs> off. But I'm also like, yeah, whatever. Like, that I'm kind of like, yeah, sure, fine, do it. I always smoke weed here. Cause like, this is what I'm saying. The whole like banning t uh, cannabis uh, sponsorships and brands from being able to like, like have branded or sponsored streams by cannabis related products or any tobacco related products. This is, guys, I'm, I, I swear to God. I swear to God. You know that shit's gonna just start, they're like using this as a monitoring fashion. I just know that it's like, this is like where the stoner paranoia comes back because it's been gone for so long because it's not illegal. So like when this kind of stuff happens, I'm like, you are, you guys are really trying to push out any kind of entities off of the platform so that you can have a platform that's Twitch. We're good for sponsorship. We're good for this. We're good for that. But kick is bad because all the bad people go over there. When you force everyone to go over there. If you're going to force cannabis content creators to leave your platform because they can't make any money off of it other than just subs and tips and bits anymore, unless they get sponsored by a game or something like that, it's like you're forcing people to take their business elsewhere, which means you're, you're not, it's, it's one of those things that you do in corporate. You don't fire people, you get them to quit. You ever feel like people want you to quit? Most of the time, they probably do. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's, it's something that people do. It's something that bosses do. They're like, all right, you know what? If we do this, they can still stream if they want to. They're just gonna have to follow extremely regulated shit and we're not gonna allow them to do certain things. So yeah, Wicked, they just added on this new thing where when you go live, is you ask Alexa, what is Twitch and they still call it gaming platform. Yeah, it's a streaming service. It's a streaming service now. It's honestly feels more, yes, yes, no, they are, that is exactly what it's becoming. It's becoming a streaming service instead of a, a streaming platform. That's the thing. It's not a platform, it's a service. Zach Bussey is exactly correct in what he says in that, because it, it is true. It is true. You are, it is, it's, it's turning it into a streaming platform, which means this is for the viewers, not for the content creators. So that, that's what I mean. They're like really narrowing down the kind of content that's showing up in their, in their service. They'll still allow it, kind of like YouTube does. YouTube, you can, you can stream, can't, you can smoke weed, you can do all that. They just won't monetize you. That's fine. You just can't make any money. That's all. You could have a million followers or a million subscribers on YouTube. If you're smoking weed on it, they demonetize you. That's just how it works. So yeah, Wicked, next time you go live, you're going to have to go to content classification and click on drugs, intoxication, or excessive tobacco use because you use cannabis. Uh, you're going to have to do significant profanity and vulgarity, that kind of stuff. If you want to talk about any kind of, if you, if, if you even just want to have a discussion about sex um, or sexual topics, which is such a broad, such a broad thing. Because I'm like, sexual topics? Like safe sex? Like if you're talking about safe sex on your platform, you have to say sexual themes which then marks it as mature, which then makes it harder for people. Like if, you know, here's the thing. Everybody hates extra clicks. Hi Vibe, you probably are not wrong or just turn it into something else. I agree, I agree, date night. I feel like this opens up a lot of opportunities for, for uh, false reporting. And then once you get enough false reports, they lock you into that classification and you can't get out of it.
Yeah, Bob, great point. Yeah, it's like, um, okay, so what if I'm a biologist and I'm talking about the, the mating rituals of animals? Is that sexual topics? Because if that if that's counts as education, so does safe sex talk. You know what I mean? It's such a weird, fucking, vague way of putting things. And somebody, like Date Night said, they could do something where like, I hate this motherfucker, I just want to fuck with them. I'm going to say they're talking about sex because they're talking about the mating rituals of dung beetles. You know what I mean? It's just such a stupid thing. If you... Yeah, if we do in Rocky Mountain Oysters, you're out of here. Yeah. Rocky Mountain Oysters. Bull testicles. Cheshire Pope, hello. How are you? How are you? Uh, yeah, violent dis depictions and all that, which means mature games, if it's a gory or like gnarly game or art or anything like that. I'm curious. It's like, what about death metal? If there's some death metal band out there, and they're like doing that. Can somebody be like, yo, you guys need to be in violent or graphic dis descriptions. Prairie oysters. It's cool. It's true. Asked attention. Who first suggested the concept of asexual reproduction? And I answered your wife. Jesus, Bob. Jesus. Doing grand. That viewer pop up was annoying. Wasn't it Cheshire? Get used to it. I don't know if you need to click it every time you come into the stream. I wonder if it's one of those, like, once you've clicked on it, you've kind of accepted that it's there. Cheshire Pope, do you, do you even know what's going on with that pop-up thing? Yeah, guys, this all got announced yesterday. So for those of you who don't follow anything on Twitter when it comes to uh, Twitch, we've been talking about the content classification. Didn't have the pop-up on mobile. Interesting. Okay. So it doesn't pop up on the mobile yet. There's probably an update coming. Didn't ask for it again for this stream it is. So that might be that might be the benefit there. You're on mobile. It popped up for you. I just pop up message uh, about content. Yeah. So you guys X'd out and then you came back in. Popped up on mobile, okay. But not another here. Okay, okay. So what you guys are all saying, let me just make sure I've got this correct. I guess it might differ if like, it, depending on what thing you are on, it like saves it as that kind of thing, like a, like a cookie. Um, yeah. Yep. Yep, that's, that's what's happening right now, y'all. That's what's happening right now. Close the browser all the way down, and then it, but it still came, it still came back afterwards. Here's what I'm asking. Here's what I'm specifically. When you when you close out and you come back, it did not. Okay, that's the main thing. So hopefully that means it saves it as a cookie. So anytime you go back to a stream that you've been to before. Unless you're in a different browser, like a different program, or are watching on your TV maybe instead of your computer, your iPad, or your phone, it'll pop up then. But after you do it then, it might, it might save it. Mm-hmm. Um, Pope, only if you excessively cuss. And I'm kind of like, what is excessive? I stream for four hours. Is there a percentage of curse words that you're like counting that I'm doing? Like, what the fuck is that? Just saying it just as, as like plainly as that qualify as, you know, over profanity use? Probably. High, high vibe. I mean, it's already kind of happening. Uh, I've just updated the app on my phone, so, and it's now showing the pop up. Yeah, Houston, there you go. I don't uh, like how they're pushing the ad free viewing either. Yeah, I, yeah. I use PC only. I've gotten the pop up on several streamers, but only once each when I, it doesn't pop up again. Bob, there you go. See, and that's a thing. And yeah, day night, it's very subjective. It's very subjective in the sense that it's just kind of like, 
I doubt there's a fucking staff member in my chat doing this. Oh, curse word, curse word, curse word. Does damn count as a curse word? Is that okay? That's PG. Okay. He says it a lot, though. You know, it's the biggest button on top of my settings. Okay. Getting your point value, so you say damn three. Yeah, exactly, Bob. Exactly. The example they gave in your content is go into a Call of Duty lobby and cuss, cuss out purposely. Then you have to put swearing label. I'm sorry. Cuss people out purposely? What the fuck does that mean? If you're, if you're cursing, if you're saying a four-letter word, you're doing it on purpose. What, you, you're swearing by accident when you swear? No. If I stub my toe and yell fuck, that's going to be okay. If a troll comes in here and I say, get out of here, you fuck, that's profanity and I have to take that classification. I would imagine it does, Bob. Yeah, Rusty, you know why. Ads. Ads and being able to distinctly see who's streaming mature, but for what reasons. You know what I mean? And I think with that, you know how people are always like, oh, I got a condom ad for fucking da-da-da just trying to go into this family-friendly streamer, right? So now the ads can probably be marked in a more specific fashion to where if you, yes, you're going to a, a sexual stream or a sexual-themed content, you'll get the beer, you'll get the... Uh, condoms that way you can kind of like funnel your ads in a way that will work all this leaves me wondering is who the fuck got the twitch man so drunk no it, it's it, they just got a new ceo bob goes to a hot tub stream doesn't get a pop-up really high vibe is that true i mean some people haven't turned them on you don't need to like i look watch watch you don't need to turn them on this is something we've talked about already. I can turn off all this shit right now. I just did. It's all off. That's it. Yeah, you're okay. You just came back in. Uh, I only get food-related ads like Grubhub and Photoshop. Diddy, and that's, that's fine. Oh, okay, buddy. You're, you're killing me today. I love you, but you're killing me. Um, it's, it's fine. What was I even talking about? I get distracted. Oh, uh, did, it's, it's more along the lines of like, that, that goes everywhere. But what I'm saying is specific ones. I've gotten condom ones. I've gotten like stuff that is a little bit more risque, you know, in that sense. And that's like, whatever. But they talk about it. Like, Won't somebody think of the children? Uh, with your troll example, it's such a struggle. Like, I ban someone and say, fuck off, and they report me, and now I'm locked in for profanity. There it is. I'm Pickle Rick! Those, wonder why. Doesn't matter. That's not the point. That's not the point. You getting them or not getting them isn't the point. The point is people do get them, and this is an easier way to make those funnel. You know what I'm saying? What is this? Pop a grind core! Pop a grind core! How are you? Welcome in. How are you? Did you turn on your things today? Also, also, everybody say hello. Mrs. Tofa, hello there. Yeah, Papa Grindcore, we were just talking about your, your, the classifications. The classifications. Hello. Hello, Shadow Whisper, how are you? Yeah, you have to turn on classifications now for mature content. 
Though I just didn't even turn it on. I, I did turn it on. And so we were talking about it, and I just turned it off. Because like, you know what? Fuck that. Ah, fuck them. I'm going to leave it off. I'm going to leave it off. And if somebody wants to come in and be a cunt, a little fuck nut shit wad ass looking cocksucker, I can get pinned in the fucking profanity aspect. You know what I'm saying? And the other thing, it's in force starting July 20th, regardless. The other thing is smoking weed. Yeah, but Papa, here's the thing. We were just talking about this aspect as well. If you get a troll and they see you smoking and they're like, I don't like this guy. I'm going to report him for smoking weed. And you're not going to get in trouble. You're just going to put a pin on. You're going to get a warning on your, on your stream. If you get enough, they lock you into that category or into that classification. For me, I'm kind of like, ah. Not, I mean, it's not bad that I'm getting put in that classification, but I'm also like, hello. What the fuck? Look, how you doing? It's, you know, again, we already entered a slippery slope with the whole like brand thing that they were getting rid of, right? Like you can't get sponsored by all of this other, other things like that. <laughs> Automod, Automod thought you were bullying me. Um, so it's like, you get all this kind of stuff, right? Okay. Oh, now you got to make sure you're labeled in specific categories and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Okay. And everything comes in threes. This one, two, what's the third? If Twitch was smart, they would acquire adverts from everywhere. And depending on what you stream adverts, uh, your viewers get yet. I, Papa, that's what they're doing. I, could only, I can only imagine this is a way to funnel content or to funnel ads into the content so they're like, oh, da-da-da-da-da. Granted, there's no cannabis ads. There's no fucking smoking ads, okay? But there is beer and, and like other stuff like that. And there's, and there's condom ads and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's more along the lines of they, I, I'm sure this is 100% for ads because we were also talking about this at this point too. Twitch is now no longer a streaming, plat, uh, streaming platform. It's a streaming service because they're pulling away from this is good for content creators to this is good for viewers. Unremovable bottom banner, constant Twitch ad scroller. I don't know what you're saying. There's a constant ad thing under my under my space. That's dumb. Sponsored by Chatterbait for so long. Now maybe my chance. <laughs> yes, Papa. That's right. Starting at five percent uh, of the video screen, and then fifty percent by the end of two thousand three. Oh, what's next? Oh, Cheshire. See, there you go. There you go. Cheshire, I want you to know this about me on my stream. I do just stream of consciousness with the way I speak. So it just kind of spews out. There's no like anchor to most of the conversation. So when I ask a question, sometimes people don't answer for like five minutes. So I apologize if I'm like, huh? But that's what. Husto, if you got to ask, if you got to ask, and Papa, you're not streaming on there. You're just you're just in a, you're just a diamond subscriber. That's what you have. Uh, let's see how they do things, Papa. There's always going to be ads. There's always going to be ads. Like I said, this is this is now a streaming service. Zach Bussy is absolutely correct. Zach Bussy is absolutely correct. There is. There is no, Twitch is, Twitch is dead as a, as a streaming platform. Twitch is dead as a streaming platform. 
it, 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 because it is now a streaming service. That's why it's dead as a platform. If, you're, if your goal is to make sure that you're getting as much from the viewers and it's more viewer oriented, that's our job. Our job as streamers is to be the ones that pull in the viewers and keep the viewers and do all that and blah, 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 blah. Their job is to give us the stage, right? That's actually what the CEO says. Uh, well, we provide you the stage and that costs money. And it's like, motherfucker, if you don't have a performer on that stage, what the fuck? You're losing money anyway. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You think I, I invested all of this money that you guys have given me to the stream to like put all this up? You know what I'm saying? So it's a very fucking weird thing that's happening, right? But have you been getting in shape? Maybe there's a new camera, but you're looking good. Uh, I bought this new camera that basically takes pounds off your body. Uh, <laughs> Papa, actually, I changed my diet back in January. I, I just called my doctor because we have a, I have a doctor's appointment. And I was like, when is that again? I thought, it was this, I thought it was at the end of this month, but it's the end of next month. So I changed my diet. I've, I've dropped about 20 pounds. Um, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, pre-diabetic numbers will do that for somebody. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it's pretty wild, huh? Um... What else? Yeah, I don't know, guys. It's just, it's just been really weird. The fact that it's been like, yo, you can't get sponsorship from any cannabis brands or tobacco-related brands, so it doesn't matter if it's a wrap, you know, if it's a hemp wrap or anything, like papers, like King Palm, I still got to take that off. doesn't matter. Oh, I don't want to get rid of that yet. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I don't think they will. I don't think they will. Papa Grindcore, I don't, I don't think they, they're putting this in place just to lift it. Because think of it this way. Twitch is, Twitch is located in the United States, right? It's a worldwide uh, service. I'm going to just start, I'm just going to start following suit with Zach Bussey here and just calling it a service. Twitch is a worldwide service, but it is... Uh, based in the United States. And what's illegal in the United States? Still, federally, cannabis. If only we could tell that Twitch has been fun, but it's, uh, it's getting senile at an exponential rate. Tofa, that's what kick is. That's, that's, the new, that's the next stream platform iteration. That you are witnessing it now, it is happening now. Like, that's what I'm saying. Mixer was that thing a while ago, but <sighs> Kick lost my account. Oh, wait, what? Mrs. Topa, I saw you on Kick. What do you mean they lost your account? You just don't get it. You piss off the creators and the creators will jump ship. I mean, some creators will stay on because they don't really have an issue. Yeah, Papa Grindcore, that's what I mean. You can't be sponsored and you can't sell that shit. Definitely had a good chance. It did have a good chance. It was owned by Microsoft, for fuck's sake. I can only log from the device I created my crown. What? Mrs. Tova, that's wild. Like a state ads for viewers from state to state, probably a hassle. Yeah, Papa, that's never going to happen. That's never going to happen unless, unless they become a complete platform or, or service like like, think of it like this. I have Peacock, just signed up for Peacock, and, you know, we get ads and all that kind of stuff. And the ads are local ads. So if Twitch can start doing that, total service. Total service. Absolutely a service at that point. We need to start in the States. One of the first major hurdles the banks. Yeah, no, that's still, banks are still a thing. Yeah, that's, that's, not, that's, not a, that's still a hurdle. They still deal with bullshit. It's still a massive issue. Uh, I have noticed today that has been way more ads than usual. Really interesting. Well, Ozzy, you don't ha you don't have a subscription. You don't. I don't think you're subscribed right now, so that means you're getting lots of ads. Yeah. If you don't have a subscription, you're getting ads. 
That's how that works. <coughs> but it's an early platform they all have to figure out. See, and that's the other part. They're just in beta. They're in their infancy, like big time infancy. So that's like, you know, I'm just saying. Uh, I put it this way, if you're just a hobbyist like me, it doesn't matter. But if you really want to lean into this it, it gets an app, it absolutely matters. Exactly. Well, there's a lot of people out there whose, whose brand is just, it's safe across the board. You think of Kanara? You think of Kanara? I'm sorry, but Kanara is fucking safe as fuck on Twitch. She never has to worry about anything unless they go fully fucking off the rails. Kanara is an educator. She cooks. She games. Like, she's Twitch's wet dream. You know what I mean? She's a partner. She holds on to big numbers. She's been on the front. Yeah, that's just, this is my point, Bob. Very safe. Someone like Kanara, very safe. You know? I'm a turb ho. <laughs> Got it when I... It's 899, now I'm not even getting rage intensifies. What is that? What, what do you mean 8.99? 899. Uh, tur oh, turbo. Yeah, Twitch turbo. Yeah, 899. See, that was actually a really good deal. But even still. Yeah, canara has been put on the front page tons of times. You did it! I did it! And she's a Klingon. Yeah. A Star Trek edu like food educator that games. Hello. Come on. Rusky bro, how you doing? But that's my point. It's like, unless you're going to be... That, that's where Twitch is going at this point. Wholesome, wholesome shit. That's what they want. But you can still do this other stuff. But you can't get sponsorships on these. You can get sponsorships on booze because that's legal. That kind of stuff. So, son of a bitch must pay. New attitude seems summed up by uh, my person. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Bob. So it's it's just one of those moments where I'm kind of like, ah. Everybody who has been getting pissy at those going over to kick, and it's like. There's an old phrase from the 90s. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Okay? Because it's not the player's fault, they gotta play the game. Hello. Mama Ross, how are you? Wasting time, hello there. Guys, if I haven't said hello to you and you still have your thing, please. Please use the hi there, the say hi, redemption. Play in, player. Yeah, exactly. Play on, player. But it's true. It's like, man, I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm just, I'm just trying. <laughs> Why are people getting pissy at people going to kick? Okay, so let's talk about that. If you guys don't know what kick is, it's the other, it's the actual streaming platform at the moment. I feel like kick is a streaming platform. Twitch is a streaming service. We'll just say I'm that. Back. Tree Farmer, what's up? People got to earn money, make a living. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's why I never get pissed off when, people, when, when I see about like hot tub streamers and all that. Everybody's like, fuck those people. And I'm kind of like, people just trying to get paid, people. Don't forget that. Don't ever forget that. There's, there's, like, if you want to do a double standard, that's fine. If you want to fucking rep a double standard... That's fine, but you better, you better respect the grind, as it were. Um, platform and a service. Rusky bro, I'll just do that first. A platform and a service. Twitch was a streaming platform, which means that creators came on to create content. That was their platform to create content for people, right? But it has since then shifted into a streaming service that is more oriented towards viewership getting people in, doing this, doing this, you know, money, 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 ads, 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 this kind of stuff. So streaming service is something like Netflix and all that, where people come in and they pay to watch, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then the platform is just, that's, it's, it's creator driven. 
So that's the difference. So Kick is a platform, Twitch is a service. Kick is run by Slate. Slate is a gambling site, sports betting, um, sports betting, uh, slots, cards, all that kind of stuff. Now, people are like, yeah, fuck gambling. Kick is evil. You can still gamble on Twitch. You can still gamble on Twitch. You just can't do slot machine shit. You know, pressing buttons, getting the money. You know, you got to play like, you got to play cards and all that kind of shit. So both have gambling. One is just owned by a gambling site. Okay. And they're massive. If you don't know who Slate is, guys, they sponsor sport teams. They sponsor sport teams. A sports betting site sponsors teams. You, can, you can't play unlicensed casinos. You, can, you just can't play unlicensed casinos. That, but that's my point, which is weird because Slate is a licensed site, I thought, because you do a lot of sports betting and all that. I don't know. People are not happy unless they're complaining these days, unfortunately. Wasting time, eh, yes and no. I, I don't think that's, that's too, no, that's too vague. I don't agree with you. I wonder if Twitch ever considered the streamer can pay us to cover cost model. N yeah, no, Bob, that ain't gonna happen. Steak is crypto, it can be whatever, but you, I don't have the answer. Ah, okay, so it's still crypto, that's what it is. All right, so that's, that's the biggest issue right there. Yeah, okay. Um, this is great, talk about conflict of interest. Well, yeah, but like, honestly, professional sports, it's like, I, I, I don't know. And cursing things made crit roll one of the Twitch biggest streams, but D&D, yeah, for sure. Cherry? Bon appetit, chef. Hey, chief. Hey, chief. That's a slippery stroke. FDX sponsored an F1 team, Mercedes team. Yeah. So I'm just saying, it's like, there's a lot of weird shit happening over kick. I'm not saying kick is the answer. I'm just saying that's what's there. And... For me right now, I'm like, well, 95-5 split. I, I get it. I get it that people are like, you don't sell your soul for money. And I'm like, I'm not trying to sell my soul for money, but I am trying to make money. Cherry, guys, if you ever come into the chat and I'm busy talking and I don't, have a, I don't see your chat or anything like that, exclamation point menu will tell you what the menu is at all times. Exclamation point smoke, exclamation point drink, uh, and exclamation point caked. We're going to get into that. I've been, I've been just yammering on for an hour since we started, guys. I'm sorry. I should probably eat something. I imagine some of this is hangriness. <laughs> I mean, my soul's up for grabs. And it's not even like my soul is up for grabs. It's just kind of like, yeah. I was like, and I've talked about this with other creators, and they all agree that it's fucked because it's like, they're like, bubs you try to get sponsorships from weed companies and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, yeah, because guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I was talking to people about just that. <laughs> I was talking to people really about one. how to get sponsorships for the stream through the other social medias as well. And now I don't have it. Not on Twitch. Rusky! 15 friend. months, let's fucking go. Hayes, how you doing? Look at that. Hayes, did you hear it? Is it loud enough? Might not be loud enough. Rusky! All right. Guys, exclamation point cake in chat. Exclamation point caked in chat. I might need to edit it a little bit more, Hayes. If you don't know, now you know. It's caked and baked. There we go. Exclamation point. Yeah, I know. I really kind of muddled my, my fucking voice there, didn't I? Hello. Hello. Okay, Sarah, Sarah, how are you? Good to see you. You should be allowed, and it's that so many pods can use platform like Spotify and get their own sponsorship to limit a creator to financially supports them is straight up bullshit. I agree. I agree. And that's like the weird thing. So, but here's the other part of that. It's like, well, then just take those sponsorships and brand deals over to kick. First off, 
hardly any fucking person knew about Twitch to begin with. You think I'm gonna go over there and tell them there's this new platform that just came up and there's this and you're gonna, they're gonna look into that and be like, nah, nah, I don't know that one well enough. We're not gonna do that one. You know what I mean? It's one of those moments for me that's just like, yeah. And it sucks because, like, I don't want to make people say, can you do YouTube and TikTok on sponsors? No. What are you fucking out of your mind? Oh, my God. Papa Grindcore. Dude. Yeah, man. No way. No way. TikTok will fucking ban you instantly for even smoking weed. Yeah, dude. TikTok will demonetize you even if you have shit ton of numbers. You can't, you can't do weed content on YouTube and get monetized, ever. TikTok bans you. Instagram will even fucking do that shit, but they wait for people to hit you. Like, soups on Amazon and then branch out, it's a different, uh, yeah. Exactly. It's rough. Yeah, Papa Grandcore, dude, it is, no, nah, not an option, non-starter. You can go over there and you can talk about weed on YouTube. That's like the thing. You can talk about it and you can like, but like, Jesus, man, I know, I know creators on there that are monetized. They sit in there with like 2000 viewers, like active viewers chatting in their, in their YouTube chat and everything like that. Showing, showing bongs and they can get demonetized instantly. fucking horrendous that won't be monetized on YouTube and, and by, paid by them that's see here's the thing so I've had better luck getting monetized or getting getting sponsorships from weed play I've had easier time with weed than I have with actual uh, uh, like food people It's, it's been rough. I shoot my shot, man. I'm not, I'm not over here just dicking, just jerking off behind the scenes. It, it's like, it's like I reach out to people. I have a, um, you know, I have a, uh, whatever that is, the fucking, you know, it shows analytics and everything like that. Can't think of it at the moment. But I have all that stuff. I send emails. I do things, but honestly, guys, I'm not going to lie. It's, it, I'm sure it's the weed. They're like, look, you advocate for cannabis. You don't have that big of a following. That's too much of a risk for them. If we had like, if we had like 200 people in here on the daily, I'm sure that would, that would change I'm sure that would change their fucking like aspect and thought process. They'd be like, oh, well, you know, he's got a good following. He's got a good following. He's obviously doing something right. You know what I mean? So I've, I've even gotten responses from, from sponsors and stuff that are like, do, do, do like blah, 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 blah. At this time, we're not taking on any new people. You know, I've gotten those, but I've also gotten like, we need to see you bring your numbers up. We need to see you doing more. We need to see that, you know? Which is wild, but like also like, yeah, all right. You know, I'm the one shooting my shot. You're the one telling me how to like get there. But, you know, because there are creators out there on Instagram that are doing like food and, and weed. I had to make myself a little breakfast, y'all. Had to happen. But yeah, it's, it's wild. Uh, 
another streamer I watch who doesn't do or really talk about drugs has been getting denied for the past year, even though her numbers are in line with their requirements. Oh, to make partner? The partner thing, I, I, can't, I can't attest to that because I've never, been a, I've never gotten to the point where I can apply. I've been very close at times, but I never make it. Thank you, Day Night. Yes. That's how you know you need to eat some food. I'm like, I might be high, but... I just needed some food. That's what I needed. Uh, Rusky, I just did a quick little scramble. Nothing major. Now, honestly, Tree Farmer, I don't care about partner on, on Twitch. For a while, I was. It would be hype just to be able to have that and flex that because sponsors also look at that. Oh, you're a partner on Twitch? Oh. That means something. Um, that means something to sponsors. It doesn't mean anything on Twitch. Know that. It means absolutely nothing on Twitch. You don't get any perks for being a, a, a partner on Twitch any longer. You don't get any kind of perks for being a partner on Twitch any longer. TwitchCon, you can go to the Twitch party, the, the partner party. Tree Farmer, even the emote slots. Yeah, you get a ton extra, that's for sure, but that's like, yay, you can get better TTV and put that on there and then have a fucking laundry list. You know, coming up with all those emotes is a whole nother thing. But, yeah. I'm sorry, what? In the 3D printing world, companies have stopped sending printers and parts for review and have made the change to having fun content made with their products instead and change to watch happen. Interesting. I have no idea what that world's like, so I, I don't know. Is that a good thing, a bad thing? Mrs. Tofa, thank you for the lurk. No one subscribes because how many emotes someone has. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's... That's not enough for people to want to, like, fucking do that. Like, I don't know. Some people are, are like... Yo, I want those emotes. I want to use those emotes everywhere. So they do. Eating ketchup sandwich right now? Ugh. Ugh. I had to close the blinds over there because I realized it's reflecting. So it's bringing in too much light. It's bringing in too much light, everybody. Um, okay. Good God. Yeah, it's, it's a very weird time to be on Twitch right now. I know a lot of content creators are concerned and worried and kind of just like, like, holy shit, everything's getting disrupted right now and it's, it's shaking everybody up and a lot of people are pissed. A lot of people are like concerned and worried. Uh, you know, just bread and ketchup. Wasting time for your for your uh, <coughs> 3D printing. <coughs> well, that's good. If something's happening in a positive fashion, if it means that, like, look how more accessible uh, 3D printing is. Look how look how fun it can be. It can be a hobby. It doesn't need to be very serious. You know that kind of thing. Then that's awesome. That's great. And hopefully it just maintains that. I would imagine it does, because it's 3D printing, right? Fucking 3D printing is awesome. All right. Like, for instance, Jess has a meeting on Friday with a 3D printing company that prints um, prosthetic legs for pets. Not just dogs, not just cats, rabbits, turtles, other shit like that. No fucking joke. We watched videos and saw that. It's amazing. So we're, Jess is going to talk to them. They're going to give her a mold. They're going to send her a mold to put on. And uh, we'll send the mold back. 
you know, we're going to have to like measure his other leg and see all that kind of stuff. Cheshire, that's, it's just a ketchup sandwich. You never were a kid. I remember doing that shit as a kid, maybe even like once. And I was like, nah, or either I did it once and my mom was like, all right, nah, nah, I don't want you to know. No, that was a fun little snack for you, I guess. It's like a jelly sandwich. Really, the, the amount of sugar that's in ketchup, really, that's all. It's a ketchup gel, like a ketchup jelly. Uh, manufacturers have realized the return of investment on revenues. It's not here. What? But watching someone use a machine and get excited Let's about get it uh, is working so much better. Yeah, for sure. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hold on. We got to do a lunge. Oh, that's not the right. Yeah, well, that is the right one, actually. That is the right one. Hold on. Ozzy. Thank you for the 100 bits. What? Oh, shit. Hayes with the 100 bits. That's two lunges. That's two lunges. That's two lunges. Let's talk about, let's talk about what, we're not just getting caked. Today, we're getting baked. Minos! What? Cake. Just a small part of 3 d That is super cool. Yeah, wasting time. I agree. Minos! Ah! What? Haze! <sighs> Am I going to have to mark this stream as sexual? Somebody's going to come in and they're like, why do you have your camera on your ass doing this? I'm like, no, it's... It's no, it's, it's so people, I, I'm, I'm, it's accountability. It's accountability. I'm here for the ass. Hope, don't even lie. Already reported you. God damn it, Rusty. Don't report me. What? I don't want achy brit. Why is this on here? Fuck off, achy, breaky heart. This is supposed to be sweating to the oldies, not shitty music from the 90s. Oh. I remember my grandpa eating mayo and banana sandwiches when I was little. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, dude. Holy shit. Que sera, sera. Yes. I'm just, you know, we're trying to get, we're trying to get caked. We changed our diet. Now it's time to get caked. All right. Where were we? Where, where were we? No. What the fuck music is this now? God, build me up buttercup better than that. Holy crap. Cookies and cream blondies. Uh, there we go. Snickerdoodle cookies or blondies. Maybe this will be better at focusing. Come on, man. Jesus. So snickerdoodle blondies. Guys, so far today, we've gotten three, three subs. I will say this. I said 50 yesterday. If we can break, if we can break 100 subs today, if we break 100 subs, I will raffle off some of these snickerdoodle blondies to somebody in the continental United States. So if we hit our goal, if we hit 100 subs today, I will raffle off some of these snickerdoodle brownies or blondies and send them over. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. That's part of baked and caked. Also, we're in a level one hype train. Holy shit, I didn't even realize. I didn't acknowledge. Thanks for the hype train, guys. <laughs> I know, Blood Oak. I wish I could do it for, I wish I could do it the whole world, but unfortunately... Shipping and import fees are a, a stop you dead in your track. 
stop, they just stop you dead in your tracks. It's too expensive. Like it becomes like these these blondies would have would cost almost a hundred dollars, and then it just negates the whole thing, right? Hey, Sarah, Sarah, gifting one out to Super Wolf Leo. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And you know what that gets you? You know what that? You know what that gets you? Oh, wait, wait. There we go. Just doing their part. Doing their parts. So not only are we going to do the snickerdoodle, that's 54. Not only are we doing the snickerdoodle, but we are also going to do a no-bake option as well. Right over there. And this, this will There's have to sit in there. Carmack? This one will have to sit in there. God damn it, that's four lunges. Right over there. There's some people smoking weed. Carmack! Oh, God, what is that? That is eight lunges? Oh, it's eight lunges. Oh my God. All right, hold on. Why can't I find, there it is. There it is. 168. The state's in better half. She's from the state, so uh, I never say never. That's fair, Blood Oak, that's fair. What is happening? Cheshire Pope, what are, you, what are you doing? Cheshire! Look at that. Oogie Boogie, Cosmic Cat, Cooking Girl, Wacky Welsh, and Twitty. Look, there's some, there's some all-star names in there. Bob. Okay, hold on. Bob with the 840. Pope with the five gifties. You serious? My, oh my goodness. What the fuck? Wasting time with the 500 bits? Holy shit. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold up. Yeah, this is a fitness stream now. This is a fitness stream now. What do we owe? We owe 10? Two per? So we owe 10? 10 squats? Oh, shit. Six. What? Oh, God damn, 300? So what's that? Is that wasting time? Oh, my God. All right, I owe 16 lunges. Oh, Jesus. 16 lunges. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. I gotta extend my leg more. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, God. Grow them leggies. Grow them leggies. We're trying. Bab, we're trying to get caked. We're trying to get caked. Oh, my God. Hold on. We also need to spin this wheel a couple times. By the way, also, guys, if we have a level 5, if we beat a level 5 hype train, 
We do a giveaway. <sighs> merch. It could be merch. It could be, um, what else could it be? Nitro stream racing? Let's fucking go. Emote only mode. Emote only mode for two minutes. What? Launch the Craigasm, bro. What the hell? Hayes? Oh my what? God. Hayes, how many have you given now? What is happening here? Mike, have I correct? Am I doing this correct? I am. Oh my God. Okay. So what is that? Eight? No. Five. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Ten. What is happening here right now? What is happening here right now? We're at a level four hype train? Hold on. Hold on. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this right. We're gonna do this right. Hold on. Hold on. Put this on, we do 10. We do 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Holy shit. Whew. Whew. Hold on. You know, you don't realize it's 80 degrees in your house when it's just a regular day. But now... <sighs> ah. Glad I ate something. Oh, timer went off. Timer went off. Oh, God. Emote only mode is over. Emote only mode is over. We're going to play a game. We're going to play a round of Nitro Stream Racing. I swear to God, it's loading. I swear to God, it's loading. We're gonna do we're gonna do 10, 20 bots. Oh wow, there's a lot of new ones. What? Bab! Cheshire, what are you doing? Smoke weed every day. Oops. Undamaged pito, p pizza. Uh, Robster Craw. Uh, Cali War Machine Light Tower and Curtis Joe Static. Holy shit. And it's almost 420. <sighs> Casio <laughs> Casino Popalypse. Okay, I'll select that track. Oh my god, guys, are you serious? Also, happy 420, Cape Verde. We're gonna switch over really quick. We're gonna switch over really quick. Bab! Pope! Holy shit! <coughs> Holy moly! What is happening here? Guys, if we beat this level 5 hype train, if we beat this level 5 hype train, we do a giveaway. So, not only, if we hit, if we've got 15 more subs until we hit 100 subs, and we're gonna give away some of these uh, Snickerdoodle Blondies, Continental United States only. Yo, que sera, sera. Give to one to old man Portnoy. Let's go. So not only would be giving away 14 subs now, happy 420k birthday, 
uh, 14 subs. We'll give away some snickerdoodles. Uh, but if we beat this level five hype train, we do a giveaway. So it could be merch. Could be merch. It could be whatever. All right, hold on. We gotta do, what is that? We gotta do 12 squats and one lunge. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What? Oh, come off it, Bob! Wait, wait, where are we in? I gotta do two dabs? I gotta do two dabs? Holy shit. We gotta beat level five. You gotta beat level five. What? Waste of time! GG! Apagi Unknown, Cheshire Pope, Del C, Space Happy, Che! GG! I am Billy Goat, let's go! W Hype Train! We got a giveaway! We're gonna be doing a giveaway! I gotta... I gotta do three lunges though! Because Bob gave 126, which rounds out uh, all that. Uh, God. Nine, six, six, Bob. Oh, my God. Wasting time. Five gifties. K-Star, what's good? Oh my God, hold on. All right, so, y'all, you did it. You crushed it. We got to a level six hype train. Let's go, Bob! Oh, Papa, my friend. Oh, yeah. Come on. Get one of those. The karmic Bob gifted a little tier squat one sub there. to M underscore Luca. They have given oh, 388 right. gift subs in the channel. We still have to play a round of Nitro Stream Racing. It's all queued up. This is, this is for the level four hype train. This is just the level four hype train. Take, I have to do three dabs. I have to do three dabs. I have to do three dabs. <sighs> We're doing three dabs. I haven't even started cooking yet. I made a, I made it a little scramble. That was it. Hold on. Hold on. Three. I have to do three. Every 2,000 bits, we have to do a dab. At least I ate first. That's true. No, I cooked something. I already made something. I put it back. I cleaned it. I cooked something. I ate it. I cleaned it. And, and now here we are. Oh. oh, God. Wait. What? Let's make it four dabs, people. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Wait. Wasting time. Did I give you your 10 squats yet? Did I do the 10 squats? Yes, I did. No. Yes. Yes, because Kesara gave one. That's what it was. Yes, I already did. Don't try it, you sneaky fuckers. Don't you fucking try it, you sneaky fuckers. I know what you all were thinking. They're like, guys, he's asking us. Let's make him do 10 more. We didn't have to. It's, it's just 10 more. I see you. I see you all. Okay, guys. We're doing a giveaway right now. The giveaway could be merch. The giveaway could be fuck. Oh, by the way, could we give a shout out? Where, where are they? I am Billy Goat. Could we give a shout out for I am Billy Goat? Hype streamer. I've been, I've been hanging out in their streams a little bit lately. Very cool person. Go, go check out. See if you vibe. No, this is empty.
Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Um, oh, holy shit. All right, this could be merch. This could be a game code on Steam. This could be a sub uh, for one month or three months. Or it could be a $10 Amazon gift card. Let's see. Merch! Merch, 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 So it is a choice. I, I, am, I am making a choice about what you can get. <sighs> Guys, hype train success. Y'all are fucking hype as shit. Y'all are hype as shit. Can I get an exclamation point merch in chat so everybody can go and look and see what the merch is at the cur current time when I tell you what it is? Thank you, Bob. Guys, the raffle has started. The raffle has started for the merch giveaway, exclamation point join, exclamation point join for the possibility of winning some merch. Guys, level six hype train, you all are fucking amazing. When you guys bring that kind of hype, this is why I do this. This is why I do this, we do giveaways. Because it's fucking so hype that you guys would do this for me today. Thank you, thank you. I really do appreciate it. It really, it really does help me keep this stream going, to do fun stuff, you know? <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna win, but see, you never know. Merchandising, that's where the money is. 135 seconds to get in, guys. Exclamation point join. Guys, so we've got a lot of Camp Zaza gear right now. There's a bunch of things, so I'm gonna give Whoever wins the option of this, a sticker and a patch, actually we'll make it two stickers and a patch. You can get one of the hats or you can get like one of the shirts or something. Wicked kidding, how the fuck are ya? How are ya? We love to bake, we love to bake here. The Relented, hello. Brendan, hello. Guys, exclamation point join. If you wanna try and earn your chance to win some merch, we got a lot of cool stuff that will be selected, what kind of merch, so I can talk to you about that off stream, and that's totally fine. Uh, right now, we are making some goodies. Wicked, for all of you who's just joining us. Beanie hat, space bubs, oh, space bubs, I get you. I get you, Powdered Toast Man. We're also, once we hit 100 subs, we're giving away Snickerdoodle Blondies. I just need to find the page. There we go. We're gonna give some of these away. As long as you live in the continental United States, if we hit 100 subs, we're gonna do a raffle and we're gonna do snickerdoodle blondies. So right now we're doing a raffle giveaway for uh, some merch, and you don't have much time left. You don't have much time left, it's almost out. It's got like five seconds. We're gonna announce the winner, let's see who the winner is. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Can you imagine if it just never announced? It's just like stopped there. We never found out. It's happened before. Wasting time, let's go! <laughs> wasting time, GG! message me afterwards. Everybody, GG's in chat for wasting time. Message me afterwards and uh, I'll, give you, I'll give you the GG! options. I'll give you the options. So, Awesome, awesome. What fucking hype you guys are today. Let's go.
Let's fucking go. Okay, dab time. Okay, while we're doing dab time, while we're doing, I know it's dab time. Jesus. Jesus. There it is. All right. Exclamation point play, everybody. Exclamation point play. If you want to get in on this race, exclamation point play. And if anybody, if whoever wins, whoever gets first place in this race, you get to choose a song to put on the, uh, the, good, the, uh, the Buds playlist. We're bringing that back. In fact, is Papa Grindcore still here? Oh. Physical, physical. All right, dab number one, priming up, ready to go. Ready to go, okay. Oh, <coughs> my goodness. My goodness. Exclamation point play. Exclamation point play, everybody. Woo! <laughs> hey! Ooh. Jesus, that was dab number one. Ugh. I'm going to give you 30 seconds. Oh, this? It's the honey badger. I won this, um, I won this honey badger on uh, Instagram through a dispensary. Baked and baked. Bob, do you see how many fucking squats I've done so far? We are getting caked. We're getting caked. That's for fucking sure. That's for fucking sure. All right, we're starting the race. We're starting the race. This dab number two. <coughs> oh my God. Woo! All right. So we're going to get started on all these cake baked goods once this is done. My God. My God. Now, hold on. Oh, Sirius is being a... Oh, shit, I am Billy Goat is in the lead. Hey, get in here. Come here. No. Come on. Sirius. Hey. Come on. You've lost your outdoor privileges now. Yeah. You're okay. Jeez. Billy Goat was in the lead. I had to go, I had to go tell Sirius to chill out. Karmic! Karmic is in the lead. Luca, right behind. Oh shit. High vibe Mike. I am Billy Goat in first. Karmic, let's go. Mistakes were made. Mis mistakes were made. This is lap two out of three. High vibe Mike. Luca. Slicer. Oh shit. Oh shit. Karmic, you have a commanding lead right now. You need to hold on to that. Yeah, guys, if you don't know how to play, there's boost and megas and all that kind of stuff.
dropping shit. Don't mind me. Yeah, mega. Put in mega. You guys, you have items that you can use. We don't... Hey, boom. There you go, Bob. It's not like marbles. It's not like marbles in the sense that you can't do anything. Holy Hello. moly. <coughs> Hello. Vegas trees. How you doing, dude? Woo. Oh, Karmic got into... Oh, no! Who's this? It's a bot! No, it's a bot! You can't let the bot win! Come on, Bob! Come on, Bob! Oh, shit, Bob! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, that was a commanding lead from this bot. Bob, come on! Bob, do your mega. Bob, do your mega. Oh, shit. One second. Who took it? Is it over? What happened? Bob, why are you over here? Bob, 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 Bob. Come on, 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 come on. Bob, 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 go, go, go. Now, now, now. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Come on, Bob. Oh, the bananas. Oh, the bananas are fucking it all up, Bob. Oh, the bananas. Oh. Oh, what? Did they slow down? <sighs> Come on, Bob. Finish strong. Finish strong. Finish strong. Finish strong. You got this. You got this. Oh, shit. There it is. There it is. <sighs> there were no winners today. Second goes to Karmic, and third goes to, to Hayes. But first went to, yes, I'm funny. The bot. The bot. And I don't need to wear this anymore. I know. I know. I'm upset too. I'm upset too. I think we can all agree this is very upsetting. Audrey and Joyce, I know you know. I know you know. No worries, Bob. Bob, you have a good one. You have a good one. Oh. Well, I have now done three dabs. I have now done three dabs. And we're going to start making some snickerdoodle blondies. Right? So we're doing 350 butter and sugars, 
Boom, boom, boom. Light and fluffy. Add the egg. Add the egg yolk. Vanilla extract. Beat until fluffy in color. Boom. No problem. Fold in the flour. Boom. Scrape the batter. Mix the topping. There we go. Alex. Alex. Gladly. Why not? Why not? You know, there's going to be a classification thing that's going to pop up on me. I know it. They're like, sir, you are clearly high. Yes. <coughs> yes. Uh, so, everybody, this book is brought to you by the one the only, the Fit Waffle, uh, who was kind enough to send us a copy of the book, which is sick. So, can, so kind of her to send this over. So we're gonna make some, we're gonna make some of these. Not bad, if it would focus. If it would focus, yeah, there you go. Uh, so we're gonna make these. So what do we need for this? What do we need for this, huh? We're going to need butter. I'm gonna flip it over because I can't, I can't read it upside down. That's not fair to me. That's not fair to me. Weed is just a plant. When Alexa starts making noises. Uh, all right. Unsalted butter, six ounces. This is what, four? So we need one and a half of this. We're gonna need three-fourths cup brown sugar. All right, we're gonna need a mixer for this. I don't know why I'm like grabbing bowls, but that ain't it. All right, so three-fourths cup or, oh, I love it. I do, do love it's also in grams. If there is something I have a deep love for in my heart, it's, it's grams. Do you guys ever, I mean, okay. Unless you live in, in like England, if you live in anywhere else other than the United States, basically, uh, what's it like? What's it like working in metric at all times? Is it as wonderful as I imagine it is? Because when I worked in kitchens where all we did was measure in metric, it was great. It was great. Everything was so exacting. Everything was so exacting. Not that you, like, you would get, like, the hang of it. You'd be like, oh, so, like, one onion is roughly about this normally, you know? So when you clean it up, you know that you need to grab, like, X amount of onions anyway to get that perfect weight. So it's cool that you just start reprogramming your brain like that because, you know, in the United States, you have to do, like, cups and then... You know, a tablespoon of this, it's not always just weight, which is obnoxious. Yo, Curtis, enjoy. Guys, if you got a gift sub today, uh, emotes, sound commands, they're all there. Kitchens and gram, but body and st not uh, kilograms. See, okay, that's that's interesting to me as well. The stone, I, I, Husto, I had forgotten about that. Yeah, you guys, you guys have stone pounds, not kilograms, which is like okay. Yeah, metric just metric just makes the most sense to me. I mean, that's that's the main thing. That's just me. 
I, I use it all the time. It's more exacting. It's a big more pain of the ass because then in the United States at least because all of the all of the things that you get as far as cookbooks tend not to have metric, which seems silly, but it's also like, well, they might print it in the UK later, and then that might be a, like a revision that they do if it gets big enough, you know? Metric for uh, cooking grams, except if there's a small amount in teaspoon, goes crazy white scales one gram that well. Oh, I've got one of those. See, that's drug scale. Drug scales. That's why you get drug scales. Because some of those, some of those lighter ones, some of those lighter ones like xanthan gum, guar gum, if you're if you're using any of those, um, those kind of things, you got to make sure that you're using the correct measurements to like percentiles. Three fourths cup. We'll just get the. I don't know why I'm using this. We're using the scale. I'm really high. Yep. Congratulations, chat. I, I am intoxicated. Classification, please. Classification, please. 165 is what we're looking for. Who is this? You know why this is also a better measurement system when it comes to baking? Since baking is like an absolute science, everybody always says, right? Um, then if that's the case, then it's more important that you would always use metric over the imperial system because it's just st stupid. Jeweler scales. It's a good point. That's a good point. Oh, tree farmer. I like that. I like that line. That's a good line. Yeah. Jeweler scales. Thing is, you have to buy all new measuring equipment for the kitchen. I don't have anything in grams. No, you don't. You buy one of these. These are like 30 bucks. And they have a lifetime warranty. Did you know that? Or at least they used to. They used to, at least, if I remember, remember properly. <laughs> song is ridiculous. What am I listening to? Now, the funny thing about this recipe is it doesn't include cream of tartar, which is like... Huh? What? What? So I don't, you know, that's weird. Yeah, that's true. And they do, you can, you can, you can go through from grams and ounces and all that. That's correct. <laughs> Feet and thumbs and stuff. Feet and thumbs. no thumbs <laughs> but no I get the feet yeah I thought I thought that's what it meant when I was a kid you know I feel like every kid has that moment where they like think like somebody's like oh it's this many feet and you're like what what it's that it's that many feet and you like look down at your feet and you start doing this. One, two, three, four, five. You know. Somebody's like, it's 18 feet tall, and I do 18 feet. And I'm like, that's not that tall. And they're like, no, not your foot. You're a goddamn kid. All right. We're back at this song.
We have to change this music. That song has come around twice now, and I just can't handle it. Let's listen to some 8-bit hits. It's been a while since we listened to 8-bit hits. All right. Yeah, I like this angle better for this purpose alone. Like, look, look how easy that was. So much easier. All right, so while that's going, I'm just going to get some equipment out for dry mix, as well as then we'll separate our eggs. Ooh, I need to grab some vanilla. A little vanilla. Measured in hand, are you serious? Is that a real thing? All right, so we're looking for 210 grams of flour. That's a real thing. Why, do you know why? Do you know why it's measured in thumbs? All right, so this is, this is snickerdoodles, right? Now, there's a lot of times you will get recipes and they will not have salt in it. I, I always put salt in my, in my sweets, no matter what. No matter what. That's just me. Why you gotta go there, man? Why you gotta go there? I gotta use the C word, dude. Got a toast, man. All right, cream of tartar. This is what gives uh, Snickerdoodles its like that tanginess, that lacto tang, you know? It wasn't in the recipe. And I was very, I was kind of like. Yeah, there's nothing. Very, very odd. Standard measurement of horse in most English-speaking countries. Really, interesting. Well, weird for sure, right? That's like, huh. Excellent. So we have our dry mix. I think we're good on this for right now. Because years ago is the easiest way to measure them in the middle of the field uh, without tools, apparently. Houston, are you serious? That's for real? It's just like that, it's like that straightforward? I'm like, yeah, that's pretty much it. How big is the hand? I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think you're trying to go too deep in chat. <laughs> like, um, whomever was the most average size hand, I imagined, they'd be like, everyone come out and, and, and put your hands up in a line. And they went, you know, they went like largest hands, the smallest hands of all the men in the, in the city, and then they came to the one that was the most. So if the largest man was looking at his hand, he'd be like, well, it's, like, it's about here on me. Jeb's hand is about here on me, so that's, that's where I measure that. You know, and the other guy's like, well, his is about, about this much higher. So that's about, you know what I'm saying?
I mean, they're lucky they weren't measuring dicks. I, I'm just saying. Ah, it's about three cocks tall. I mean, that's by Jeb's, you know. Mine's a little bigger, but you know, I measure it down, I guess. <laughs> then you have to have like intimate knowledge. Then you have to have intimate knowledge of your of your town folks' genital size. It's just that's not a good idea. See, look, we're gonna be in that classification now. God damn it. God damn it, these fucking classifications. Who do they think they are? All right, so we've got our eggs and our vanilla. So this is getting to a point where it's, um, where it's getting kind of fluffy. All right, I'm gonna just, wanted to scrape that down so we get a little bit more. The music goes with the mixer. Oh yeah, that's nice. There we go. One at a time, one at a time. Ready? There we go. Now really quick, before we just let that go all, all day, you know, we're gonna let that go for a couple minutes. So it kinda just whips those eggs up, gets a little bit more emulsified and and just all that goodness put together, okay? There we go. Make sure it's like fully incorporated. In fact, there we go. There we go. Also, I have to infuse something with 10 milligrams. I have to infuse something with 10 milligrams because we're at 20 subs right now. Oh yeah, it's going. It's going. Excellent. Okay. The music goes with the mixer, does it? All right, we're gonna do a little something here. We're gonna do a little something here that we're, it's a cartouche. You guys know what a cartouche is? If you don't know what a cartouche is, don't worry. Basically what we're looking for is a cartouche is normally used for, hold on, I'm gonna do something really quick. Gonna trim the size of this down. Oh, 
Oh, you son of a bitch. Didn't have a steep enough incline there. All right, there we go. So, hi, buddy. No, you can't go out. You were barking at people. That wasn't nice of you. You're barking at the neighbors like a jerk. Yeah. So, here is how you do a cartouche. Hello. Hello, K-Star. How are you? I saw you in chat earlier. How you been? Okay, so we did, we did hot dog, hamburger. No, hamburger, hot dog fold. And then we did a side to side. Boom, boom. So I'll just show you really quick. Like hot dog, hamburger, triangle. Boom, right? <laughs> Hello. It's a great redeem. I'm so pleased with it. Then we do another. Whoop, we do another fold. And if you want to go through and kind of do this, that's fine. You don't need to use a knife. In fact, it's probably better if you don't, if you're scared of knives. Right? If you can get one more in there. Great. If not, not a big deal. Nobody. Go lay down. Serious. No. No, you can lay down there in front of the window, but you can't go outside. It's really good. Barking at people. Well, hopefully nobody is. Who knows? Maybe somebody uses it to, uh, you know, get better at coping with their fear. That'd be kind of sick. All right, I'm going to cut that here. Right? So we could have cut that a little shorter. Come to the OG Nicole. Hey, Kenneth 3D, how you doing? How you doing? Ah. What the hell is going on here? There we are, there we are. OG! On this day, this day of baked and cakes. For you, for you, OG. 34 months. What did you make me? Well, actually, so if we hit 100 subs today, we're doing a giveaway of these Snickerdoodle Blondies. So we're close, but that's, we're in the middle of making that right now. Hold on, I'm going to just wipe this down here because I want to re-whip it just a touch. I just want to make sure it's all getting incorporated. Nicole. 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 Fine. Be good. Stay in the shade. No, it's not I go topless. That's not what that is. I don't go topless. OG! Oh, 